Raiden, I'm done with one more C4. This one was in a spot so narrow I had to crawl in to get at it. It's possible that... don't see a lot of adequate cover in that area. There's some cargo on those conveyor belts. That's about it. Good thinking. Right. Take cover behind the cargo on the conveyor belt. Match your movement to the belts. Right. The roof of that strut is accessible. Check there as well. Looks like the enemy sentries have the defensive perimeters of each strut covered. You'll be safe as long as they don't radio for more men, but if you're spotted, run for it. Find a good concealment and wait until the backup leaves. You won't be able to defuse the bombs while you're being chased down, believe me. Taking care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. 
course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Make doubly sure you... I see a lot of birds over there. The tanker accident two years ago released crude oil containing massive quantities of endocrine disruptors. The fish that absorbed them were then eaten by seagulls, which further concentrated the endocrine disruptors in their bodies. What sort of outcome this will lead to is still currently under review and is yet unclear. It just goes to show that finishing the cleanup of ocean oil spills does not mean that environmental restoration efforts end there as well. It's possible that... There are still bombs in that area that haven't been destroyed. That's a tranquilizer gun with a sound suppressor. Hit an enemy with that and it's good night, sleep tight. The time in which the tranquilizer takes effect depends on where you hit your target. If you want to knock somebody out with a single shot, aim carefully for vital spots like the head or heart. I think I've seen this modified gun before. Yeah, it looks like the same gun used by Solid Snake two years ago. Following that terrorist incident, similar models were made and sold among the fans of his exploits. I think that's one of them. That's an American military M9 modified for tranquilizer bullets. When the tranquilizer bullets hit a target, the round uses the force of the impact to mix the drug, also producing a gas in the process. The pressure of the gas drives a built-in piston that injects the target with a powerful anesthetic. It's like firing a small hypodermic syringe. This M9 is a tranquilizer gun that knocks out the enemy. It doesn't kill them.
trees. Huh? Don't even think about searching for the bomb while... Raiden, that's a Harrier too you see over there. That's what shot down the seal chopper? That's right. Unfortunately, the weapons you have at the moment aren't up to the task of neutralizing this plane. Leave it alone for now. Raiden here. The C-4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, Raiden. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. One more bomb diffused. There was one I managed to find only because I took a good look in first person view. You should try it too. Looks like the enemy sent. Raiden, don't ever turn your back on that Olga woman. Olga Gerlukovich, daughter of Colonel Sergei Gerlukovich, ex Gru and former Spetsnaz commander. She's the leader of Colonel Gerlukovich's private army that's been wandering around the big shell. Those men were gathered by Colonel Gerlukovich. Following his death, she inherited his command and now exercises full control. Her father's name was widely respected throughout the old Soviet regime, and he was the goal of just about every military man. Why would a respected soldier become a leader of those cutthroats? The collapse of the Republic resulted in a lot of unemployed soldiers. Most found themselves suddenly cast out into the civilian world, hopelessly lost. The colonel took these men in. He organized a mercenary army and led his men from battle to battle in various disputed regions around the world, hoping that one day he would rebuild his homeland. Rumor has it that during the Shadow Moses incident, he planned a rendezvous with Liquid Snake's men and assist in their uprising. I assume that the revolt figured into his reconstruction plans for the Soviet regime. I also heard that Ocelot, Liquid's right-hand man, was an old friend of the Colonel's back in the old days of the Soviet Union. In any case, Olga inherited her father's military genius and has become a force to be reckoned with. She was born and raised on the battlefield, and she's as tough as she looks. Not my ideal choice for a date. You sound like you've met her. No, I haven't had the pleasure. Just remember what I said. Don't turn your back on her. The cardboard box that you have is ideal for fooling your enemies. It's a very important tool for infiltration missions. Really? Of course. I can't begin to count the number of agents whose lives were saved by a cardboard box. You mean everyone's using them? Look, I'm not exaggerating when I say the success of your mission hinges on how you use that cardboard box. Huh. But in the end, a cardboard box is only made of paper. Handle it with care or it won't be of much use to you. Treat your cardboard box with care. Take care of the box and it'll take care of you. Don't think of it as just another box. Treat it with love. Don't be rough, okay?
make doubly sh Colonel, what do you know about that female soldier, Olga? Olga Gerlukovich. Just like that guy said, she commands a Russian private army. Do you know anything else? Anything else? Yeah, anything else. Why are you concerned about her anyway? You know. Jack? No, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll look into her for you. Good luck. Colonel, who are Dead Cell? They are pretty much what that guy Pliskin described them as. A special forces unit? The brainchild of the former president? Chances are someday we'll find ourselves in a gunfight with them. The thought leaves me uneasy. You have experience combating Foxhound during VR training, right? You'll be fine. Don't be apprehensive. Jack, don't run unnecessary risks, okay? Yeah, I don't want to, but... I know. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. Could you check for any data on them for me? Okay, I'll do it. Good luck. Colonel, who exactly is that woman? Her name is Fortune. She leads Dead Cell. Hang on a moment. I'll look her up for you. It's possible the terrorists will... What can I do for you, Jack? Jack, it must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're diffusing those things? I don't think so much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? <sighs> I was just kidding, but I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. And I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay, that's a deal. Jack, is that you? See ya.